What is going on guys, Stet here, and we're back with another guide for Ghost of Tsushima. In today's quick guide, we're going to break down how to get the Ghost Stance. Yes, there is one more stance and is the deadliest of them all. For this, you have to be in Act 2 in this part of the map right here. And before I keep going, this is a main story mission, so there's no way you can possibly miss this. You must complete it in order to advance. It's called the Ghost of Yarikawa, and it's going to be a very, very interesting mission. Haka, Yarikawa has a fighting chance because of our efforts. You should be proud. I am, my lord. But the Mongols are growing restless outside. We showed them Yarikawa won't surrender. Now they won't pay back. Will they attack tonight? Unlikely. They'll give us a sleepless night, then attack tomorrow, when we're exhausted. Get some rest while you can. And with that, the Ghost of Yarikawa will begin. It's a very intense mission. It's one of the hardest battles so far because there's so many enemies, there's so much going on, but the fact you unlock this stance more than makes up for it. Now, after this, you're going to have to go and meet up with Yuna. She's all the way at the tower you see at the back. We're just going to speed it up. And on top of that, we're going to have to climb to the top of the tower to meet up with her. You're going to have a drink. You're going to talk a little bit about life, about your ideals, and then things are going to get crazy. So let's see what these two are going to be talking about. You're awake too. They killed the samurai. What chance do a bunch of farmers have? Sometimes, our only choice is to walk away from everything we know. Alright, so we're pretty much going to be drinking from morning to night time. We're going to be reminiscing on life, things, choices, how life is changing. And after that, we're going to pass out. We're going to wake up and Yuna is going to tell us that there's things going on, that they're attacking the castle. They're attacking the fort and we got to go defend it. So pretty much at this point, we got to make our way out and start fighting. This is where things get interesting because you guys want to make sure you fight back as much as possible. The Mongols will be rushing in and you will have to protect several gates. You will have to protect them from the Mongols as they try to get in and just make sure they don't push in too far, they don't kill you, and do not go out of the gate for any reason. I happen to go out of the gate once or twice and if you go out at least in this particular area right here, you will get gunned down by a storm of arrows. So you're just gonna have to fight, you know, waves of Mongols that are gonna be dropping by this doors, and that's pretty much it. They barely damaged them. What are they up to? Trying to lure us out? No. Hold them off as long as you can, then fall back to the keep. I'll deal with the siege weapons. I should come with you. No, Taka needs you. Alright, at this point, after defending the gates, Yuna will tell you that you have to go out and climb to the mountains and take out the Mongol artillery. You will have to take out some catapults. There's only two you have to take out and it's fairly simple. They're guarded by around three or four Mongol soldiers, so just take them out of the way and then you'll be able to destroy each one of these weapons. It's fairly simple. At this point, we're going to have to make our way back to the camp and this is where things get tricky. I found the best possible way to go is simply by taking the ropes right in front of you. But it is easy to miss, so I'm going to be showing you the route I took right up to the door, and then from then on, it's just pretty much rushing inwards. 
after you rush into the castle, we're going to have to be fighting a lot of enemies. You're going to have to clear everything inside the area so you can open the doors and face the boss. Yes, there's a boss. So right here, you're going to use your grapple hook, and then we're just going to use these ropes all the way up here. We can make our way pretty much all the way back to the entrance, and we'll be all good to go. You might just have to fight two people on the way. Once you're inside, like I said, you're going to have to kill everybody. If you do not kill these people and they know you're there, obviously, they will not let you advance because it will say you're still in combat. So you have to make your way all the way to the back and you will be ready to face off the boss. And let me tell you, this is a pretty intense fight, more so because at the end of this fight, you unlock the ghost. Face me! The ghost! Kotun will reward me for your aid! Alright, after a fierce standoff, you will have to face off against General Tamuga and you will have to kill him. This is when the cinematic kicks in. At this point, after beating down the General, you will unlock the ability to slaughter and you will commit your most brutal Fatality, and this will unlock the ghost stance. Right here, you can see that slaughtering leaders earns the ghost stance. And let me tell y'all, this is incredibly strong, allowing you to pretty much one shot almost any enemy that comes across you. You will instantly kill them as soon as you engage them, and it's just so badass. I highly advise you go out of your way and get it. But there's more to it. Not only do you get this by slaughtering leaders, but if you kill enemies without getting hit, you will also unlock the ghost stance. You will build up your ghost stance as you can see right here. If you kill enough enemies without getting hit, it will build up your ghost stance as we're gonna see right here on this video. And as I told you guys, the ghost stance is extremely strong. So if you build it up right and you just see a big group of big shielded enemies or some enemies that give you some, you know, hard time, you're gonna be able to take them out without any sort of problem. And on top of the fact that you kill them extremely fast, you don't seem to get attacked while you're in ghost stance because everybody's just terrified of you. You're like the boogeyman. You're like John Wick in here. You're the Baba Yaga. Everybody's running away from you. And at this point, you will officially have unlocked your ghost stance and it pretty much ends this awesome quest. You are warriors. We can defeat the invaders and save our home, but only if we stand together. Alright, and that finishes the quest, The Ghost of Yarikawa. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notifications bell. Join our Discord if you're looking for a great, laid-back, and respectful community of gamers. Make sure you check us out on Instagram and check out our merch. We have a whole bunch of awesome stuff. For now, make sure you check out our playlist. Let me know what other videos you want me to cover regarding this game. And your boy Death Gun, out.